Welcome back to Smashbox. I haven't restarted the timer. I don't know uh, where you're going. Smashbox Labs. All right. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Hitbox. Uh, beatbox. Hitbox. Crushbox. Uh, boop. Have you box. been coming up with these, like, since the start of the channel? And now you're just like... Bearbox. Banana box. I think you can ignore my question. That's fine, too. <laughs> I mean, I was. I was, I was hoping that my, my thoroughly thought out ones would... Uh, you know, help you out. Loading box. So, <laughs> so anyway, uh, we, we were talking about Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory last episode, and I really want to revisit that because I haven't seen the Johnny Depp version, but I've also heard that Gene Wilder is a rapist. So, <laughs> so I really don't know. Have you seen the the Johnny Depp version? Is it Johnny Depp? Is it Orlando Bloom? This is how it feels whenever you're being ignored. Uh, I'm going to be super petty right now. Okay. We weren't talking about Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. I don't know what the fuck you're You ruined you're the gag, about. man. Come on, man. Come on. Come on. That, but <laughs> our, The gag is always that we say we're going to talk about things, and then we don't talk about them. The gag is not we start an episode talking about we were talking about last time, <laughs> Guys, I and wanted to start a new tradition, my no, friend. No, the, uh, the point of a running gag is that the it's running. It continues to go. You don't switch up your running gag. Then you don't have a running gag. You have a gag that alternates every now and then. Speaking of, we, we have a friend who is going to remain nameless, but uh, his initial initial is T. You got me, I don't... Uh, he plays, uh, played games with us. <sighs> with you, specifically. Uh, he lives around here. Told you his name was Scott. <laughs> there you go. I was like, I'm, I'm blanking. <laughs> just, I was like, I can't think of any T names. Nope, Scott. You could have just said Scott. You didn't have to make up a name. You could have said Scott. <laughs> okay, so this guy, uh, he... Uh, okay, I love him because yeah. because of how he did this. I I uh, arrived in Alabama uh, yeah. like the night the night before a D and D session. We rushed down here to do uh, uh, or no the night of a D and D session because yeah. we came down. We went to Ye, and then we went to D and D. Mm -hmm. And I met you know uh, I further met everybody there, uh, and the the whole situation with. You know, nobody really introduced themselves. Mm -hmm. uh, most of the people just assumed I knew who they were. Well, except for uh, Jersh. Jersh introduced, yeah. uh, you know, this is Colin, this is Justin, uh, and this is uh, uh, Poppy, mm -hmm. which is a, a uh, an alias because there are two mats in the group. Yeah. Fuck, why am I back at Trunk? I'm trying to get back to the fucking kingdom, the castle. We gotta find her husband, dude. Yeah, I don't remember how to get back to the castle. But... Hey, fuck. What was I saying? Uh, oh, Poppy. the only person that actually introduced themselves, he did it, like, away from everybody. Yeah. And people kept referring to him as his T name. Yeah. <laughs> you know, remaining nameless still. But people kept referring to, and I'm just like, who the fuck is that? Should we <laughs> just say his name now as you mentioned every other person's name? What? I named, no. You named, like, six people. I, did I? You did. Okay, that's fair. <laughs> I'm gonna no. I'm gonna go back and center those. No, I'm not. Yeah. Okay. So we got Scott. Right. We got Scott. Scott's the Scott's the fake name that our 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 friend, uh, I guess since I'm censoring Tanner, uh, gave, <laughs> gave me, and uh, he said it like away from everybody. Yeah. <laughs> so nobody had any idea he had told me his name was Scott until the end of the night, and. <laughs> So, like, I was just, like, so confused, and I didn't know if you guys were fucking with me, or if he was fucking with me, because he seems like such a genuine person. Yeah. And even now, thinking about it, getting to know him a little bit better, I can't believe he did that. Yeah. <laughs> I was just like, he's such a nice guy, why would he do something like that? Dude, that's the thing, he's such a nice guy, you know, I, I love him, I respect him a lot. Right. He, he's actually published, I think, now, and, you know, he's had plays put on... He's a great fucking guy. Just now he's Scott. Do you think he does that to other people? Introduces himself as Scott. Oh, I'm sorry. You're talking about like plays and stuff. And I just yeah. One of us I is uncultured. 
Uh, it's me. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, you're, you're, you're kind of the worst human. That's fair, yeah. How do I get back to the castle? I don't know. But I know some... I hopped down a, off a ledge at some point. I need to yeah. undo that. Some people that are peak humans, I'm the worst. But, uh... What the fuck was I about to say? I don't know. I don't know what you're, oh, yeah, I, what you're this getting is, on about. This is my hope for the, the censor, this episode. Right. I hope that instead of like... I go back and I find where Matt said the N-word while we were recording. That, or uh, or you just, instead of like all their names, you just take one of the times you said Scott. <laughs> so <it> just, <laughs> just Scott, Scott, Scott. Scott, 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 and Scott. And, you know. No. I don't know. <laughs> just, just whoops! <laughs> oh, you did it! This isn't where I'm supposed to. This is the down. blockbuster, right? I don't know. You're asking questions. I don't know the answer. Oh, it's Earman! Oh wait, he was close to the castle. Earman, wasn't he? I've seen like six Earmen, so I don't know. Yeah, dude. Um, <laughs> we're we're doing pretty solidly here. I'm hoping this is where I need to go. Check your map. Go, go, go. I did that. It doesn't really lead me anywhere. Go, go, go. Okay. So you need to go right. You're shitting me. I was going the right way. Yeah. For some reason, I thought we were going there because you said that's a princess. Well, we need to get there. There's the choose goose over there. Oh, my God. Yeah, so you've just been running around the place, it seems like. Fuck me. Duke. Hey, dude, you're uh, the one who ran circles around it. I'm a travesty, dude. See, this is super fine. I, I've got, I've got to mention this. Okay, mm. when you're playing games, you are, you are very silent. Mm. You are, you are super silent, and I feel like, oh god, I got to keep talking because if I don't, you'll do, uh, and you'll like start trying to think and play, mm -hmm. and you do both like out loud. Totally. Yeah. No, not poorly. I mean, you did all right with Manual Samuel. You probably did better than me at Manual Samuel. I know I I ribbed your shit in for it. But, uh, I love that. You though. know, it was just it was just the name of the game because you ribbed me, like you know, telling me I suck every time I die <laughs> playing any game. To be fair, I get that from Matt. That's he does that when I play League. Right. And, and like whenever you started playing the Guile theme super yeah. loud when he was fighting whoever. Yeah, you so were like, he needs to know how it feels. I'm like, Duke, he's not fighting Guile. <laughs> he played the Guile theme every time you fought Guile. Yeah. <laughs> it's not it's not how this is supposed to work. I do remember that one time, though, I came home from D&D. &D. In case you wondered about my credentials, I am an official representative of the Royal Kingdom Commission. I told you I'd have to see yeah. his face to get his voice. But you did do it. That sounds about like My formal duties include crowning rulers, creating maps, and tedious paperwork. So he's the one who made the map. Right. I guess. Can you go to the left? Or is that that's the... We find a plain wall that looks suspicious. It probably is. Try the giving it a little nudge or an explosion. Well, those are two fucking vastly different things, Plantain right. Guard. Kingdom has a real problem with bush overgrowth. Luckily, it's fine to constantly lack at bushes. Sometimes you even get pickups out of it. Well, I heard she was playing with the garbage. I thought it was you farting for a second. <laughs> no. I was going to be really upset. You've been doing a lot of farting in like in my general area and then walking away recently. While, while looking at you defiantly, don't forget that part. While crouching over and looking <laughs> at me defiantly. And it's been a wild ride to no, say the I, It's been pushing me closer and closer to actually murdering you and not just joking about it. <laughs> I'm hoping you can find Lullaby Princess in her cell. Oh, wait, go, go to the okay, place. Okay, that is where... <laughs> I gotta show you something. I'm pointing this out. Let's talk to him. Okay, look. See the way he's moving his mouth. If you find a wall that looks suspicious, probably. <laughs> it's not like he's fucking rapping, you know. If you find a wall that looks suspicious, it probably is. Try giving a little nudge or an explosion. <laughs> exactly. He sounds like a, a beatboxing guard. <laughs> he's a b boy. Yeah. <laughs> this kingdom really has a problem. <laughs> this kingdom has a real problem with bush overgrowth. Luckily, it's a constantly, it's fun to constantly act a bush. Sometimes you even get pickups out of it. <laughs> yeah, it's like this isn't really rhyme or meter properly. <laughs> but it's like I think that's why he's doing the little the the bounce. You know, he's got the spring and stuff. He's trying to keep rhythm. Yeah, he's one of them b boys. Everything he's got to <laughs> say, he's got to you know, 
Are B boys are the break dancers, aren't they? Uh, no, I, I think they're both. They they are the ones that do this. They they put their arms over their chest. Oh, okay, that's a B boy. Yeah. I was just using the term B boy without really knowing what it meant. So who do we want to visit first? That. I assumed it was her, but that mm. one's blinking. So that one might be the most I'm going to assume that we got to go to that one. It's blinking. Hi, cats. Nice that, to see you, too. That was just one of them. Yeah, it was, oh, it was just one of them? It sounded <laughs> like them chasing each other again. <laughs> I mean, one of them came after. He calmly walked, but... Uh, we, our two cats, though they originally hated each other, are now pretty much best buddies. I mean, I wouldn't say that much. They don't cuddle. Yet. <laughs> yet. Yeah, they don't they're not really cuddle bugs yet. They're uh they're starting to get used to one another. Uh I think Shoes, the little bean, mm -hmm. is uh he just doesn't know that not all the time is playtime yet. Yeah. Because the few times Neo has been cuddling, you know, just like snuggled up in a ball and he's approached her, he's tried to initiate uh, you know, playtime. Yeah. And she's like, Bruh, I'm trying to sleep here. So Please. do you think we don't want to get your life together. Do you think it's because he's a younger cat, though? I assume so. He's he's used to being around all the young cats, and you know they just, always want it. Just always want to wrestle. Yeah, it's like whenever we first brought him home, or uh, first got him, uh, Matt was talking about he's just not had a good night's sleep because he's used to all these other fucking cats just always wanting to play. They wanted to beat him up too. Yeah, yeah he's a little run of the litter. Yeah, and he's got little cat asthma. Michael Phelps. He's you can't just call it Michael Phelps. It's called Marfan Syndrome, and I'm not even 100% sure if that's like a real thing that can happen to cats. It's just, it reminds me of it. It's it, got a little divot in his chest, and it worries me. It is adorable, though. Like him. Everything about that cat is adorable. Now, do you think he's going to grow up to be a butthole? I hope not. I hope Normally, only girl cats turn up to be buttholes. That's true, Nua. Yeah. I looked pointedly at our cat as I said it. They're, what are these fucking wormies? What? They're the, they're the little minions of the Worm King. You remember the guys do this, the weird fucking dreams if you touch them or whatever? That's where they're, the weird long nose Finn uh, shit comes from. The it's, lich? What? Yeah, Finn, Finn touched the worm and he goes into the lich dream. Oh, yeah, okay. I was really confused you when that? you said Worm King. Yeah, it's like the, the big-ass fucking worm in their living room at the end of one of the episodes. Finn touches him, passes out, and then they do a fucking, like, a, uh, like a intro to the uh, the long-nosed, wooden-arm Finn saga. Oh, yeah, the the mad mess. Where there's actually, where there's actually other humans, and he's yeah. got a sister and shit. Which reminded me of Scribblenauts for some reason. Yeah, and Jake <laughs> was like a normal why. dog. Oh, oh, no. fuck. Keep her. Huh. Ooh, shit. It's wonderful you've made it this far, as there... That's too close to... Here, here. Oh, it's wonderful you've made it, as there is indeed a princess inside this temple. But I must first ask that you find a plastic bag... Oh, you already have one? Oh, okay, at last. You've brought a plastic baggie, as promised. Welcome to the Song Temple. Never gonna Oh, he just explodes. Up. We don't pick him up and turn him. Yeah. That's fine. I imagined we would collect him in the plastic baggie. Right. What? But... Why would... <laughs> Look, I'm not saying we need to keep him around, but think of the entertainment. It, it, it's a small, like, sandwich bag. <laughs> what? I'm he's not a, seeing he's the a, problem He's here. a half person, at least. I mean, I'm not saying we could do it in one baggie. Right. Well, we're, we're going we're gonna to tackle this dungeon next time on Smashbox. Bob.